you know, uh, research is not just researching the moves of a dance. You know, uh, the research, it, it definitely, it's, for me, it's about the music. And I think the more you listen to all types of different styles of music, is where you start leaning towards the type of, music, type of style of music you like. There's people that will not dance to a slow, medium-tempoed beat like Mardi Gras or God Made Me Funky or something small, something smooth. People want to dance to high-speeding songs that sound like movie chase scenes, and, and I get it. But if you want to research this dance properly and also really understand it, you have to have the ability to rock any song. You know? And it's your choice. Just because dude went before you doesn't mean you got to go out. We're from the days when we went out only because it was the song we liked the most. So it, was, it, was, it wasn't overkill. When you saw Breaking back then, if you saw it, you saw it and it, it was a moment that finished quick and then it, things went on. You know, there's a time to break and there's a time to chill. You know what I'm saying? If, this, if you don't like the song, don't go out because you're not going to look good because you don't even really care about the song. And it's going to convey itself that way to where you're not really into it. You're just dancing because everybody else is dancing. You know how many times I go to circles and just watch inside and people are dancing to anything just to go off and to be seen and to practice and, and that's cool, but the essence of what this was is about the time to go off. So when that song came on, you went and you said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rip, I'm going to burn the circle right now. I'm going to go in here and just destroy it. So understanding the context of the music is very important. Um, so this message kind of leans towards DJs around the world. Please understand you got to cut breaks. If you're playing the whole song from beginning to end, you're playing the perspective and context of a disco DJ or uh, you know a, a perspective of a DJ is playing songs you know and doesn't want to cut breaks uh, and that perspective usually comes from the, the the 70s DJs you know and and a lot of what when it came to solo dances and stuff like that it was people that did the rock or freestyled before breaking so that doesn't make sense that's like saying let's let's tell these old rock dancers from the early 70s let's put on fucking techno and tell them to rock it's not in context you know, it can be any other music format. It's not like I hate techno. I, I like all music, but I believe it should be in context. If salsa comes on and someone starts locking and doing a head spin, what's everybody going to say? It's salsa, bro. What are you doing? It's supposed to be dancing with a girl. What's so that's my, my example. And, and it's not to t for anybody to take offense, but it's just as a person that's been doing this a long time, I just think that, you know, those, those sim simple small things like that are very important to, to, to understand, you know. And uh, it, you know, if you could dance to a fast beat, you could probably really dance way better to a slower beat because it's a different type of feel. But that's where if you don't have style, it's never going to come across. It's not about just speed and aggression. It's about style. It's not about technique and, and how well you do it and being clean doing it. It's about style. You have to have style when you do something. So music is, I think, one of the main elements that can allow a person's style to come out and produce a person's energy to be stylish.